What's up, everyone? This is Kenny here from Property Stories. So actually, a lot of people has been wondering why you left. Isn't the your previous employer paying you well? Uh, first things first, uh, they did pay me well. Okay, so I left also because I want to pursue a new challenge. But this decision is not spur of the moment. Last year, by about I think around October or November, things are starting to get tough. Approval is getting tighter. Things are not looking that good. And then I'll, I lost a lot of cases and it was like a lot of hard work but not much return. You would think that is normal, right? That's Every business has its ups and downs. It's true, you know? It's true. So there's nothing there to actually blame the previous employer. No need to blame anyone, okay? No need to blame anyone. Nobody, remember, if you think whether you want to leave or not, I don't always blame the employer. The employer has paid his dues. Okay, remember in the previous video I mentioned, nobody owes you anything. Your employer is paying you your salary every month, okay? Even though you're not bringing in sales. So the employer does not owe you anything. So what I was thinking is that how long I want to do at least, I can go to another bank to do another mortgage and then things will still be like this. And it's already been six years. Frankly speaking, I'm tired. Ah. I want to explore new challenges, new things. So that's why I thought about moving to SME banking, commercial banking, and I start applying. I went to, I start applying, I think in uh, January or January or February. But before that, in uh, November, December, right, I was uh, asking around, what is it like to do com um, commercial banking? I was calling people, meeting them. So that's why before I left, before I started in May, when April, right, I made a, a point to see as many people as I can to find out about what this job entails. And then I also find out about like whether there is a commission or not, what's the career prospect, what do you need, need to do, these kind of things. At the end of the day, I can tell you, right, it's useless. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know why? Because whatever they tell you today, Tomorrow also can change. Ma. The moment it came in, it can change. That's all. No point one. If you got an opportunity, right? Just find for the opportunity. If you got an opportunity, just grab the opportunity and go. That's it. Okay? And this change, right? Is normal. Expect them to change. In, in fact, the moment I joined this new employer, they changed something already. The first day I joined, they changed something. So they changed something to be more strict. More strict. Okay? A bit more tight. And you need to do more things. What can I do about it? The answer is nothing. I'm already here. Okay. So I don't see a point of uh, trying to be frustrated or getting resent or something that I can't control. I might as well focus my energy on something I can control. So what I can control? I can control how many people I call a day. I can control prospecting. That's what I can control. I can control how much I learn outside of the job. I can control learning about a product. So the first month has always been training, training, training. In fact, next week, I still need to attend training. So for those who are wondering um, why I made a decision to jump, I made a decision to jump also. Salary, I can tell you, frankly speaking, is not much. Huh? Frankly speaking, it's not much. Only increase like what? Like a few hundred from the previous job. I mean, I'm talking about basic. Huh? Commission is totally different. I'm talking about basic. And benefits also roughly the same. If you are in a bank, right? Big banks, you can expect roughly the same benefit. There's not much difference between one bank to another. So, why i so crazy to take a chance on myself is because I'm just bored and I need a new challenge. Maybe if I were to wait for my finances to get better, maybe I will never move, all right? Or maybe just move to um, another mortgage banking. So, I think some of you will be wondering, Kenny, if let's just say these six months I didn't pan out and you need to leave because the probation is six months, so what's tax? I don't know. I used to think that if let's just say these six months didn't uh, pan out, maybe next year I'll go back to a mortgage by another bank. But you know, I don't like the workload. Lah. Every weekend I also need to work very tired. Yeah, money is good, but the workload is getting worse and worse. And I'm not getting any younger. So... I caught myself thinking that, okay, this one, I have to make it work, okay? I have to make it work, that's it. Six months, don't look back, just look forward, 
and make it work. That's what I'm going to do for these six months. Okay. Plus, I also need some money to do some renovation on my property when the tenant moves out in September. Okay. And uh, yeah, some money I need to 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 hold the property and also I'm looking to sell, so I need some money to actually roll also to that. But like I mentioned at the start, I'm here mainly to learn and see where the road lead to, okay? I have some plan in my mind and I think that this road will actually lead me there, okay? So see that is what I'm I'll be working towards. Huh? So I'll see you again in the next video. This is Kenny here from Property Stories. Bye-bye.